Kia ora! These are the top five mistakes, do's and don'ts of screaming. Number one, do not emulate. Your sound is your own sound. You can try and sound like another singer by copying their techniques, but do not actually copy. You will just wreck yourself. Take Randy from Lamb of God. I've heard people comment on him saying that he does a pirate scream. <laughs> but do not copy, just copy the techniques and the assonance he uses with their voice. And if you're wondering why you don't sound like them, your vocal cords are set up differently. Everyone sounds completely different screaming, singing, everything. So do not copy, have your own sound. And if you're wondering if females can scream, yes they can. And they can sound brutal too. Look at Arch Enemy, Conquer Divide. Fact. Number two. Not warming up. Do your warm ups every freaking time. Doesn't matter if you're doing a small set, band practice, doesn't matter. Do your warm ups. Do Melissa Cross. They've been my favorite for years. I still use her warm up routine. Number three, learn the techniques. Specifically, learn the breathing technique. Learn how to breathe into the diaphragm. Don't raise your shoulders. Nope. No. If you start raising your shoulders, you scream in your throat, you'll give yourself nodules, screaming career, done. Learn about mouth movement, shape, and articulation. Don't be tense as you scream. You can tense your gut or your abs, diaphragm, but keep your face, throat, all relaxed. And give your voice time to recover. Is the main thing, is if you start feeling your voice giving way, stop. Come back to it in a few days when it's healed, or back next band practice. You do not need to do more than an hour screaming each session. It's like a muscle. You need to give it time to heal back up again and next time it will be stronger. Number four, you cannot be a screamer part-time. If you want to be a screamer, you need to think about joining a band or start performing, have a home studio, make it a routine that you are doing it. Give yourself something to work towards because otherwise you will just get sick of it and you will stop. If you have something to work towards and a product you are putting out, You'll be proud of that product and you'll work towards being better. Go and study. Go to a polytechnic. Maybe not a university because they're more theory based, but go to a polytechnic. You'll be jamming with guys 40 hours a week, Monday to Friday. There is no way you are not going to get better by practicing 40 hours a week. You'll learn vocal techniques. You'll be practicing. You will be learning assonance. Go wild. Number five, don't be shy. Be confident in the sound that you're putting out. You may not be the best screamer right now, but you will be. And as long as you work on your specific sound of who you are, your vocal cords, your technique, you'll be fine. If your voice changes over time, let it change that way. Don't force it to go that way, but your voice will change. Try recording yourself. Either set up a home studio, or then at least look back on your phone recordings to see if you're getting better. See if you're nailing that fucking scream or that articulation. And the main thing, enjoy your own sound. Enjoy the sound that you are producing because no one will be able to scream like you. Male or female, black or white, doesn't matter. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and comment if anything I've missed. If you're after more vocal screaming techniques, look at Melissa Cross or any Fry screaming videos. They're the ones that make you sound like the grudge. If you haven't seen the new album, it is Repulsion. It's on Spotify, iTunes, all of the usual places and streaming websites. Also, stay tuned on my YouTube channel for my next metal cover of DMX's X Gone Give It To You. Till next time, see ya!